Everybody's the Tentacle Wizard here. Now, I know y'all haven't seen me in a while. I apologize for that in advance, but, um, anyways, let's get on with today's video. So, a while back, I seen comments on a few of my videos requesting to run Windows Vista or 7 on an old computer like this Gateway Essential PC right here. Now, if you've been on my channel long enough, you'll know that I've already done stuff like that. I ran Windows 7 on the Compact Presario 7000 SE as an AMD Athlon clocked at 1100 megahertz. I even did it on this Compact Desk Pro EN right there, clocked at 900 megahertz. I, I even did it on the Gateway E4200, and it's clocked at 650 megahertz. So what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna run Windows 7 on an old PC once again. But we're not doing it on a Pentium 3, which is what this Gateway Essential is. It started out as a 450 megahertz Pentium 3, which I upgraded to a 700 megahertz Pentium 3. Go ahead and pull up the specs of this computer. Now, as y'all know, Microsoft's minimum requirements for Windows 7 includes one gigabyte of RAM. However, I have ran it on 512 megabytes of RAM, which is a half of a gigabyte. Right here on this PC, I'm doing it on 256 megabytes of RAM. That's pushing it. So, what computer am I gonna run it on, you may ask? We're not doing a Pentium 3 today. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna do it on the Gateway E3200. Now, y'all be like, oh, Technical Wizard, you've ran that on that computer before. Yes, I have before, but it had a Pentium 3 when I ran it on this computer. And right now, it has the stock Pentium 2 clocked at 350 megahertz. And I'm gonna do this computer justice by upgrading the RAM to 256 megabytes, because there's no way Windows 7 is gonna run on 64. However, I will try it first. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, so first off, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take the cover off of the Gateway Essential, unplug it. Well, easier said than done. There we go. Unscrew the hard drive. And yank it out. Crack open the E3200. There we go. Take the old hard drive out. Now this is only temporary. I'm going to push back right after this video is done filming. So put the old over there and stick the new one in. Now this is a 20 gigabyte hard drive if I didn't mention earlier. So, it's just barely enough to run Windows 7. Now, it's got 192 megabytes of RAM in it right now. So, I think we will just leave it like that. And see what we can get. So, let's hook her up. She's all hooked up. Let's go ahead and power it on and see what we get. Making noise. Oh, well, the hard drive's clicking now. You know what? We're not even going to worry about the time and date. Oh, oh my goodness. It's actually starting up. This hard drive sounds like it's fighting for its life right now. <laughs> my goodness. Get the mouse pad. It's clicking too. Oh, there goes the startup animation. A 
Lord have mercy on this hard drive and this computer. All right, so sorry about the blur cam, y'all, but we are back. Windows 7 has pulled up somewhat. Let's see what it does. I cannot believe it actually started up 350 megahertz and 192 megabytes of RAM. This, this is crazy. There we go. Sorry for the flickering, that's just how a CRT monitor is, once again. And of course, I didn't activate it, so it's gonna keep saying, oh, this copy of Windows is not genuine. Any day now. <laughs> this thing's taking a minute. Nah, we're going. Just ask me later. In 10 years from now, I'll activate it. Yeah, I think this hard drive is like dying internally right now. All right, so we got the desktop. Let's see how long it takes for it to do anything. Nope. Let's, let's put the Windows 7 theme on it, see how bad it is. Yeah, it's like taking forever to do anything at all. Yeah, this computer is probably gonna like die or something just trying to do anything. You must restart your computer to apply these changes. No, I don't think I will. And if y'all didn't think I'd butter up this video and continue it, well think again. Because you know what we're doing? We're not just ending it here, y'all. We're putting this thing on the internet. So let me go ahead and hook up this wireless receiver and we'll go to town. All right, we got her all hooked up. We're connected to the internet. So let's see what this thing can do. Let's see how long it takes for it to do anything or if it can process anything. Oh, it actually pulled up Internet Explorer. I should probably download Firefox, although I think this computer would like die if it tried to open anything else other than the operating system. It's gonna probably not pull that up. All righty, let's see, google.com. It should be able to pull that up. Okay, it pulled up Google now. Let's try and, oh, this is going to be a funny one. Will this thing pull up YouTube? <laughs> Update your browser. Well, it won't let me click on anything else, so I don't think YouTube's going to work. 
What else can we do with this computer? We know Internet Explorer will work. Let's go ahead and go to the system about this computer or whatever. Oh my goodness. 192 megabytes of RAM, 348 megahertz. System rating's not available. I wonder why. Let's rate this computer. Oh my goodness. This, your Windows index has not been established. Well, this uh, experience index is probably going to be like negative five. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm going to pause the video here because it's probably going to be about Christmas till this thing gets done. Alright, so it took about 10-20 minutes to get that done. Probably the lowest of all. <laughs> goodness me. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. This is the Technical Wizard, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.